The game is Hexen. My name's Finn. Let's get to playing. Oh man, I've been spending the entire day today trying to uh, code a little program, well, several programs and a system uh, so that I can have videos be encoded and uploaded automatically every day right on the hour doesn't make much sense as a statement uh, for me and all I have to do is just record and then type a name and description and hit a button it's gonna be awesome and you guys won't notice any difference so cool uh, now some kind of door opened except it's not that one so it did say in the distance so I guess it's over this way There's some kind of... What's this? Okay, well... I'm just... Yeah, I remember there's this other place. Okay, it just sort of leads me around, so... I'm just gonna go back through. I think I know where this door is that it refers to, that it speaks of. It's probably here. Ah, yes. Now, that is the castle key, which I think I can just go and use right over here. Castle, that must be the cave key. Man, what's with the, you know, skipping and freezing? Oh yeah, but it's more fun to just punch those guys. I mean, come on now. Did I just get another key? Did I? Where's... Damn it. Where is my stuff? It doesn't even show. <laughs> um, okay, I got the thing in the little corner. It's a tiny, tiny key, so I don't... I didn't get another key. I just pressed a switch or something, so okay. Okay, maybe that opened this door. Oh, yeah! Hi! I can't just sit in the air like that. Also, today or maybe yesterday or something, I can't remember. I'm not looking at the clock right now as I'm playing. Was my two two week anniversary of LPing. All right. It's an enormous event. And I forgot. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. But now, just see, uh, oh, wait a minute, can't open that. Well, I guess I won't show it now. Well, I was going to say, I mean, it's not going to sound very clever now because I'm not showing it, but there's like little lines on the map that aren't anything that are just around this door and they're there to fool the no builder, node builder, uh, because th the, the poly objects are really crazy hacks but awesome ones and oh if you know about the technicalities of the engine you have to sometimes put random lines around in order to make it not glitch out the poly objects if you don't know what I'm talking about cool thumbs up up now this place is just a total dick move when you come back I'll show you in a minute Because, I mean, this is kind of tricky, but when you come back, these three things pop up, and you have to choose one, and one, one of them lets you through, and the other two teleport you back, and there's just no clue that I know of. You just have to randomly pick one. So, you know... Okay, I got another key at some point or other. It looks like it might be a swamp key. Which, despite what the name might have you believe, you don't use in the swamp, but rather, ah, somewhere else. I forgot. 
Okay, so that's... That's the swamp. Now, actually, okay. What I'm gonna do now... Is to just go... Die. In here. First time I played this, I didn't go in here till like, right near the end, or right when I needed to. But, this is where we're gonna go, ultimately, to end the hub, but we're gonna need to do other things here, too. So I might as well show it off, because it's sort of the, the puzzle end point, you can see what we're doing. Pretty cool place, too. It, it sort of uh, moves and shifts around as the game progresses. As, you, as the levels progress, different areas happen and like traps come and go and basements open up and stuff. I'm, yeah, spoiling everything. Now... Uh, oh yeah, yeah, see traps. Now this... In the original these would be pitch black, of course. But you can see that there's these three things here, each of them have a little symbol on them, and they're gonna light up when we hit the right switches and those levels. Um, oh boy. <laughs> but, since I'm Tank McGee over here, I could just tank it. Don't sing. It's, it's, it's not funny. It's not original. Where's this? Okay. This must be... about it feeling like it's floor over floor here. Whoa. Man, this game is so dynamic. Things just change. Whoa. Happen all the time. Oh, you're kidding. It's gotta be an autosave. Well, it's kind of far back, but at least it exists. Let's try this again, but with more... Not dying. You'll have to forgive me, I've been really ex distracted all day today trying to code my thing. So... I guess coming in here springs the trap. Alright, let's just run. <laughs> I can't. Okay, now. And save here despite that there's monsters right in my face. Ah! monsters over there to bother me. I guess maybe I should stay over here while I kill them, so I can hit them. Alright. I'm gonna kill them. Or you are, or whatever. Yeah. That's right, buddy. Get back to normal scene. None of this nonsense. <sighs> wow. More or less good. Uh, where's the. Okay, one of them. Now, however, I'm sort of stuck here, wherever here is. That leads to wherever it leads to. I guess that's to get back in there. Into the. Okay, the caves of Circe, I think. I even looked it up how to pronounce it, as you do. You know, what with the advent of being able to look everything up from maps to pronunciations to the meanings of words and slang and stuff, it really takes a social aspect out of it. I mean, you never... 
you don't have anything to talk to people about anymore. You just, you can look everything up, and then if you ask someone about it, they're just like, let me Google that for you. Yeah. Oh, the loss of the good old days. And also, no, I still have tons. So, I'm kind of almost at my time limit here. And... Let's just watch some bets. Another neat effect. So, I guess I'll just stop it here. I'll be going to these caves next time. I'll see you guys then. Alright, take care.